Hey guys, so this is my brand new Craftsman R105 lawnmower, riding lawnmower. It's a 30 inch cut. But one of the things you're going to find right away that aggravate, aggravated the hell out of me, and I've seen other videos on it as to how to disable that reverse switch. In other words, when you got the blades spinning, and you know you're you're cutting in tight quarters and you got to pull forward back up pull forward back up well the way this safety these safety features are on this lawnmower you have to disconnect the blade each time well of course that's hard on the belt that's you know just wearing the belt out each time you engage and disengage plus it's a pain in the ass now there's videos that say you can uh, uh, bypass that with a button on the switch this switch is not made that way. You cannot do it. So, uh, and it seems like every uh, iteration of this lawnmower is a little bit different. And I'm not going to go into a review on it because there's plenty of those. It seems like pretty good quality lawnmower for for a low price point. You know, it's $1,199. Uh, just about any way you buy it. Lowe's, Home Depot, and Stein's here in Louisiana will give you a, a veteran's discount. Lowe's and uh, Home Depot are 10% veteran discount if you're a veteran. So that, that makes it really, uh, really nice. But anyway, let me show you what I learned here and how I disabled it. I'm not recommending you do it. It's a safety feature. I'm just telling you what I did. And uh, apparently they have it on there for a reason. I disconnected mine. Each video I've looked at has a different location for the wire to unplug. So I'm going to show you where this one is. On, As I said, I think this is probably the latest, greatest uh, models coming out because they were brand spanking new out of the box when I bought it. So we'll see. But anyway, uh, let me show you what I, what I got here. Okay, on this particular model, the wire in question is right here. You see I've got it unplugged. It's a yellow wire. Now I've seen some people unplug big old harness and stuff. That might work too, I don't know. But this one is a striped wire. Uh, looks like black and yellow stripes. And it's hard to get to from this side. You can I don't know if you can see the... Uh, where it plugs in right here. You can, actually, if you're strong enough, you can pull it up. But it was, but it was in. Here, let me point to it with the screwdriver. Uh, you can see it just plugs in right down underneath this connector here. It's just right, right there. Can you see that right there? That's the, that's the single plug that it plugs into. And what that does is control your, uh, your blade, in reverse, so that you can cut in reverse. So if you look back on the other side, let me see if I can show you with my hand. See right in here? You can see down here there's a wire disconnected and the terminal is right down underneath it. You can see it sticking up there. And that's what you want to pull off if you're going to uh, defeat that that reverse problem. Now a lot of the uh, videos say that you can take this switch and uh, once you start it move it back to this position but it automatically comes back to this position on this lawnmower so you don't have that option. This is just like a regular uh, key style anything. When you go to this position it cranks even if it's and then when it starts, there's a, there's a detent that brings it back to here. So I even tried it, and if you try to turn it back to this position, you're just going to grind your starter. So you don't have that option on this lawnmower. I guess apparently they've changed it. So you can't do it that way. You, the only way I know to do it is what I just showed you, which is to disconnect that wire. So I hope this helps. Till next time, adios.